guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's alicia so for today's video i'll be explaining to you guys why i big chopped my hair again after i did a big chop in 2015 and grew my hair out natural for one and a half years and uh now i'm big chopped again in 2017 so i'm just gonna get right into it so in 2015 October exactly I think yeah in October of 2015 I decided to go natural so I was trying to transition but that didn't work out so I ended up um, chopping all of my hair off and I went natural so um, during the process of going natural I decided to wear wigs so I fell in love with wigs and all of that so um, I wore wigs and um, until my hair was tall enough to get braided so that's what I did in January of 2016 I got my hair braided so at this time my hair was at a good enough length to get braided so um, I got it braided so after I took the braids out I was wearing my natural hair to school and I go to a white school if I must say but it's a mostly white school so you know everyone has um, long hair and all of that so I was actually the only one with natural hair and my hair was really short but I decided to put my pride aside and I wore my hair to school so um I got tired of just my black hair so my hair was um black it was really black it was beautiful but I got tired of it so I decided to color my hair so um, I bought the bleach and I bought some purple dye and I was like, you know what, I'm going to color my hair and and so on. So I think it was, um, I'm not, I don't remember clearly, but I know it's sometime in 2016, I think it's September, October or before that, I decided to color my hair. So I bleached my hair and i really loved the color of the bleach like the color that the bleach left in my hair so i was like i'm gonna rock that for a while so i decided to rock that my hair was healthy it was doing good i was keeping up with my hair regimen i was taking care of my hair drinking my water you know just eating properly for my hair to grow and it was growing so after a couple of months i got tired of the bleach looked so i wanted something more to pop for the summer of 2017 so I think it was back in April or May I decided to dye my hair red now I was doing like um, online searches of what my hair would look like or whatever and I decided I'm gonna dye it red because I really love the color red and I've always wanted to dye it red so what I did was I bought a red dye I bought some more bleach and um, the purple dye I had before, I mixed it with the red dye and I got this beautiful red color and I was like, I'm going to dye my hair red. So I went in my bathroom and I bleached my hair. So what I did, which was, I'm so sorry I did this, like, that was my biggest mistake. So what I did was I bleached the whole back part of my head, like the whole back part, and then I just bleached, like, the ends of the top. So I, I basically part my hair sectioned it in two like right here and then the whole back part was red and then the top part were the 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 roots of the top were like black and then the ends were red so it was two different red colors so I'm like oh my god I do not like this but I decided to rock it for um for May until June when like school closes and so that's what I did so school closed in back in um June 10th, I think. Yeah, school closes. So I decided to rock my my red hair for that amount of time. So during the process, like, I started to realize that my hair was damaged. Like, no matter what I did, like, my ends, they weren't being moisturized. Like, they weren't holding any products. It was just so nasty. Like, it looked so rough. It felt so disgusting. Um and my chain just decided to uh fell off but whatever so it looks so ugly i was like i cannot do this anymore i need to chop this off so before i chopped it off i decided that i wanted to perm my hair again to see what it will look like so i knew that the back was damaged so i was like i'm gonna chop it off anyway so i'm just gonna get it permed 
So I bought a perm once again and I permed all my hair. That is my second mistake, okay? I should have just chopped it off right then and there. But I permed it and I was like, it doesn't look any better. It still is damaged. It still is ugly as hell. So I decided, why not just chop it off? So after one week of having the perm, I chopped all my hair off. And as you guys could have seen in my big chopped video, I chopped sorry i chopped all my hair off and i have no regrets whatsoever um i don't care what people want to say it's my hair it's gonna grow back it's just hair like i cannot stand damaged hair i think i look beautiful with hair without hair and i do have a lot of wigs so if i get tired of wearing my short hair i can always just dress it up a bit with wigs and i can always dress my short hair up with two hoops or something and I'll still look beautiful so it doesn't matter what people want to say because I don't give a fuck okay so I do not care I really love my hair but um that's the reason I chopped my natural hair off again because it was really really damaged I tried everything I have like a whole galore of products that I was just trying to maintain my hair but my hair wasn't taken anything like it was just done so I decided to give myself a fresh start and I decided to do things different this time so the 27th I think of this month I'll be one month since it will be one month since I got big chopped so I just washed my hair and um, it's just looking like this um, I really love it I tried to lay my edges down but I don't have edges so you know I, I had to create some but you know what I still love my hair I love this look it's just a different me I feel different my head is really big but you know what I feel different I feel good so um thanks so much for watching if you guys have any questions about my hair or anything then leave them in the comments below I will insert pictures in this video so you guys can see my hair in 2015 until 2017 which is now so yes so Please comment, subscribe, like, and share, and give this video a thumbs up. Bye!